So you're thinking of moving to Phoenix, Arizona, but you're like, it's really hot there. You are right. That is my dog coming through my green screen. What do they do when it's 117 like today? Well, I have a pet. This is a hundred pound pit bull. I have a husband. I have a son. We stay here. We do fun stuff all summer. We survive the heat. We make things happen. So I am here to tell you everything you need to know about surviving the summer in Phoenix. Oh, there goes my green screen from my dog. Okay, ready? Let's go. It is very, very very hot, but hey, it's a dry heat. We're not shoveling snow because you can't shovel sunshine. So anyhow, first thing, if you have a pet, just know that it is hot. Usually we just stay inside, <laughs> but no, we do have a lot of amazing dog parks out here. We have lakes, people, a lot of dogs out here swim. We have pools and let it be known that Scottsdale, and we already know Scottsdale is known for so many amazing things. They have ranked number one in the country on Wallet Hub, Wallet Hub's dog friendly city. So we'll do have tons of pets out here. And if you are a dog lover, this is a really great place to come. One of the most amazing dog parks is over in Gilbert, and that is called Cosmo Dog Park. And it has this huge, awesome uh, park. And it's actually named after Cosmo, who was a police canine. And there is an agility section. There's even a section for smaller, timid dogs. So people go at like 6 or 7 a.m. when it's still in like the 80s or so and just entertain their dogs, exercise them, get them exhausted. And then you come home and they sleep the rest of the day. So that is one big thing that we do out here with dogs. You can also take them to places, like I said before, Home Depot, or um, there's certain you know grocery stores and places where you can go and entertain your pets. So yes, we do have animals out here. We love our pets, especially our dogs. Hey, you guys. So one of the things that we do also to stay cool is we go to one of our many, many, many lakes. So as I've said before, you can actually purchase a home that backs to a community lake in your neighborhood. There are multiple neighborhoods around here that are just built on little man-made lakes, and you can actually buy a home that backs to the lake. So in that sense, you can have your own boat and you can just walk out your back door get in your boat and kind of, you know, paddle around your lake. Or One of the main things that we do is we go up to the Northwest Valley and go to Lake Pleasant. Lake Pleasant is absolutely stunning. I believe it's like 23,000 acres of water, just really into the desert landscape. You can go boating, you can go kayaking, you can learn how to scuba dive. You can just go swimming and sit on the little beach area, do your picnic, you can camp there. And then when it's nicer out, you can hike or you could hike at like 5 a.m. But um, there's so many activities to do there. And Lake Pleasant is actually home to the Guinness Book of World Records largest floating water slide and it's called H2. Whoa. <laughs> but it's this amazing, huge water slide and you jump on it and go down and it just shoots you up into the air. It's really, really cool. Um, a little bit scary, but people love it. So there are so many things that you can do out there at Lake Pleasant to cool down. And we have many, many lakes throughout the valley, you guys. You Morrow Lake, Canyon Lake, Roosevelt Lake, Apache Lake. And a lot of these also have really cool festivals when the weather is a bit nicer. And it's just such a, a cool vibe. So we do have lots of water to cool down at. We also have tons of water parks um, and they're all in different parts of the valley. And there's even more being built, you guys. So you can go there. It Depending on where you go, it can be like $40 to $100 a day. Also, a lot of the resorts in the summer have really big pools and, um, you know, water slides and stuff. And you can get like day passes. Definitely lots of water around. Behind me right now is actually Scottsdale Waterfront. I would not suggest um, swimming in that because um, it is actually part of our canal system, but um, it is still very pleasant to be around moving water. Okay, so another thing that we do to stay cool in the summer when it's 117 like it is today is to do things out or to do things indoors. So we have so many really cool arcade type places like Dave and Buster's, Fat Cats, Mavericks, uh, main event, Octane Raceway, and Scottsdale just opened a new place called Putt Check. And these are really cool places. They have go-karts, they have arcade games, there's axe throwing, bowling, 
all kinds of cool things that you can go for a date with your significant other. You can bring your children. You can do a birthday party. You can just go with your friends if you're wanting to get out. And all of these places are super air conditioned that half the time you'll see people in like a little jacket because it is so chilly. But don't forget, I am from here. Um, I do have friends and family all over the valley. So if you contact me, I can definitely help you find an area that you think is good for you, but you got to reach out. So don't forget to do that. But anyhow, that is another thing that we do to stay cool in the summer, along with going to the movies. We do have a ton of really awesome movie theaters, the ones where you can go and you sit and you have your own little like table open up and you have waitresses and they bring you food and drinks and they have a bar attached before where you can have a drink before the movie or have one at the movie, order dinner. There's all kinds of cool things while you are enjoying your air conditioned reclining seat. So, and I can tell you a lot of them never really crowded. I think that people just seem to watch movies, you know, stream a lot at home these days. And so if you actually get out to one of these theaters, you really do have usually like half the theater to yourself. So it is a really enjoyable experience. Another thing we do is we definitely go and see concerts in the summer. So the one thing is, I know bands don't necessarily set up their tours when they're touring the U.S. or touring the world, but the band managers are the ones, right, who usually do it. But I think that they don't always understand that Phoenix is very hot in the summer. And we always seem to get this amazing summer concert series, but it is hot, right? That's why I'm doing this video. What can you do? So we do have some outdoor concert venues. Um, there's one out in Glendale and it's changed names so many times. I call it Cricket Pavilion. I grew up here. That's what it was known as an outdoor event center. And it's so fun, but um, it is very, very hot. So just be aware of that. Most of them though are inside. Hopefully managers are getting it together and trying to book uh places with air conditioning, not to say as fans of music that we don't still all go to these shows because we do. Um, and it is fun, but it, it is very hot. But we have places downtown like the Van Buren and Crescent Ballroom, which are amazing. They are both have two stories. You can also go to the Rebel Lounge, which used to be the Mason Jar. I saw like Incubus and Papa Roach there in like 99 or something. We have the Marquee Theater in Tempe, which is awesome. We also have places, um, you know, just throughout the valley. So way far in East Mesa, just built Bell Bank Park. And actually I saw no effects there with my husband probably like a year and a half ago. And at least that was kind of in like late spring, early summer. So it was still hot, but it was still a great time because it wasn't mid July, but it have a great local music scene. So no matter what, pretty much every night of the week, you can find local music somewhere. A lot of restaurants do it. A lot of our malls even have, um, music, live music every Friday and Saturday night, they'll put their misters on. So it is still a little bit warm, but it is still an option for something to do to stay cool and entertain yourself, whether you're on a date with your friends or with your children. So lastly, one of the things that we do to stay cool out here in the summer is we leave. <laughs> so pretty much everyone goes up North or they go to California or they go to Mexico. A lot of people do go to like the Pacific Northwest or the Midwest, you know, wherever they're from, because a lot of people aren't from here. Just remember, it's very rare to meet a local or a native, I should say. So remember, that's why you got to reach out to me. I've been here for 41 years, born and raised. So I know the whole Valley so well reach out to me. I can help you find an area that's a good fit for you. But if you do go north, you can go to Flagstaff is about two and a half hours, depending where you're at in the valley. And you can take, so we have Snowball up there, so you can ski there in the winter. But in the summer, they run the same and you can get on there and tour and just see a beautiful view of all the mountains. And it does get, it's usually about in the 80s. Every once in a while, they'll get in the 90s, but it really is pretty much in the 80s for the summer there. You can go to Prescott and they have the cutest, greatest little town square. We had a cabin in Prescott growing up, up in Highland Pines, which is just outside Prescott. And it's, we went there every summer, 4th of July. We used to have these water balloon fights. Anyhow, they don't do that anymore, but Anyway, really great places. You can go to Sedona. It's like an hour and a half from your, you guys. Sedona is one of the most magnetic and spiritual places in the world. If you guys don't know about Sedona, definitely Google it. People come from across the world to go there. There's so many like magical healing 
just amazing things there. There's beautiful restaurants, just a very spiritual place. It's a wonderful place to relax. Now it is cooler than Phoenix as well. It does still get warm up there, but it is still a nice reprieve from being in the 118. They're going to be about 98. So still much nicer. And then people also go to Mexico. We're only four hours from Puerto Penasco, which is Rocky Point. And it is very Americanized down there. It's a very easy drive. There's tons of resorts. You can get a beach house. There's fresh seafood. You can go boating, surfing, go on their banana boats. And my friends go with their kids all the time. My dad just went with his friend and they went fishing and, you know, the ocean and jet skied. And so that is a really great place to go in the summer as well. They also do lots of cool concerts down there. Or for those of you who are moving here from California, which I have many of you who have reached out now. A lot of us go to San Diego or go to San Francisco or go to LA in the summer, but really a lot of us go to San Diego and we just, you know, cool off there as much as we can. And I know that people in San Diego call all the Phoenicians zonies when we come over there, but we do bring a lot of tourist dollars. Those are just some of the things that we do to stay cool when it gets to 118 out here like it is today. You can see my cheeks are getting red because I'm getting warm, even though my air is on. So anyhow, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am here. If you have any questions on anything having to do related to Phoenix Metro and the surrounding cities, again, I'm a local. I'm from here, the full-time real estate agent, and I just love helping you guys through the buying and selling process. So definitely reach out, email, text, call. I love, I love chatting with you guys and you've all been really, really cool. So thank you so much. I appreciate it very, very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed and um i'll see you on my next video oh don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked them um you know if you don't like them okay whatever <laughs> but no either way comment let me know i always like to improve and, and give you guys more ideas of what you're looking for in uh, these videos so i hope you have a wonderful day and um i'll talk to you guys soon.